I'm in the object 140 and I'm on hell haloof in an encounter mode. Not going to do my crew. It's a very good crew and not going to do stats. Everybody knows that the uh, object 140 is a good vehicle, good tank. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. Not feeling real great today, so not going to do a lot of the extra stuff. Uh, going to go where everybody goes up in this front up corner up here in the far corner and uh, uh, the northwest corner. Uh, sometimes I go the opposite way, but as you'll see, I'm kind of glad I didn't because they sent a lot of tanks down that way and our uh, two scouts that go there and anybody that's supporting them, it, it doesn't turn out very well for them. I'm going to cut across here in the first little uh, uh, cut that you can cut through, you know, in the hill there, the cut in the hill. This could almost could come back to bite me in the head. And I get a good shot off there on the STV-1. Now, the Strev hits me. If he would have tracked me, that would have been a very, very bad thing. I have I did some kind of dumb things in this. It didn't really come back to bite me, but uh, I tend to go through that first cut. Uh, ten out of, nine out of ten times, it doesn't come back to bite me. Tenth time, I just get, you know, you get uh, uh, tracked and it's ugly. Uh, I don't know if it pays off, but sometimes it does. You can get up here a little bit quicker. It also depends on where you, you spawn at, I suppose, too. You can get up here quicker. Now again, the T-10 shoots. I sit here and I sit here and sit here hoping something else will come through. And uh, you'll see he disappears in a second. And it disappears. And uh, what do I do? I, I guess I'll go right now. Well, he pulls up forward, and I he, I can take 416 damage of stuff I uh, I shouldn't have taken. Really, pretty stupid of me. I should have either gone or waited until he fired again. So, again, I, I did one thing that could have came back to bite me, but that was pretty stupid. So I'm gonna try to push on him a little bit to help our team make it over into this little uh, valley here the two mesas. Then I realize that we our guys have been capping so they've put some pressure on the cap and these two, the Scorpion G and the STV-1 comes to stop it from being capped. Now this is really not the place you want to be especially if the enemy t team controls this little cut here. Now I'm taking shots from the, the uh, Revolution or the M40 well, basically the the heavy duty uh, Sherman. Now I should have shot the the light tank right then and I probably would have got a kill on the light tank but I took a shot at the the STB1 and that's the last oh STA STA1 uh, STB1 yeah well I'm crap so and uh, so that's that's it for those guys down below. We, me and the FE two four hundred two, just beat the crap out of them. Now I'm thinking that I'm no longer spotted. I can probably sneak through here and not take too much damage, or if any, the Scorpion G. The uh, TVP is hitting him from the center there. Now, I want to track the I-7 so I'll get some uh, tracking damage on him. And I'm trying to set him on fire. Three shots. And he must have just decided, well, this is it. And just logged off or just sat there. This is, I'm not going to uh, survive this. Get a shot of the T-10. Then I realized I wasn't paying close attention to my map. And I realized there's a Yag Tiger down there, and I'm going, oh man, he didn't shoot me. And I was really thought that I'd lose just almost all my hit points off of that one. And uh, keep on taking shots at him. Now I'm up to five kills. I'm thinking uh, I'll, probably, I'll probably get a top gun here in this. Now this, I hit a little spot where I was wobbling back and forth. And kind of rush my shot. So, do I get the kill on this? Yes, I do. And I'm thinking, 
Oh my goodness, I might even get a a Randy Walters. Wow. Kind of hesitant to go down to here. Don't know where that TVP is. And uh, he could, he could, if he's loaded up with heat or whatever they use, APCR, I could, he could clip me. I really don't. There he is right there. So I'm going to go over to the other side. Most of their teams, I know the, the, uh, the, Revolutionaire or whatever you call it, the French uh, uh, medium with the funny uh, brake muzzle on the uh, gun is down there. Well, there, there he is. So I'm thinking, where is that little uh, AMX? Don't want to waste a shot, so I get the kill on this. So I'm up to seven kills. Well, I get my Radley Walters. And I see that that's not going to happen. Uh, that the CDC is going to kill the Amex. So the TVP is the only thing that's out here anymore. And uh, the ISM is ahead of me, so. This is just a good tank. Uh, I really enjoy it. Oh, there he is. And. Uh, Sayonara, seven kills for Mike. First in plate, second class, bruiser, fire for effect, and top gun. I always feel a little cheated when you get seven kills, uh, you're just a top gun. If you get eight kills, it's Radley Walters. You get nine kills, it's a pools. But if you get, it's top gun if you get a six or seven kills. I don't know. That just seems kind of Anticlimactic, I guess. Uh, 67,000 credits, uh, experience over 3,000. Second in plate, second in damage, second in experience. Again, I'll take this. It's a pretty good match. Last and final in plate, 19 shots fired, 17 hit, 16 penetrated, 1,400 damage blocked, uh, 874 assistance damage. Made thirty-two thousand dollars credit, and again over three thousand uh, experience. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the the video, and please subscribe. Everybody have a good one. Thank you very much for watching.